Well, I haven't started up this diesel generator in a while. Usually it starts up right away. And uh, a lot of times I put the Bedini battery charger on here, but also uh, make sure I got a disconnect for this. And this is a stainless steel bolt with a nylock washer, stainless steel fender washer over there. It's not quick disconnect or nothing, but it's not that slow either. It's not going to get rusty, that's the thing. Probably should put a quick disconnect on there like a, a lever, but you don't want to have it, the battery hooked up to anything a long period of time because the battery gets drained. Otherwise, these batteries seem to. I, and I've been hit. I've been charging this with the Bedini charger, um, the automotive one, and it seems to work okay. And we got this little lever down here put it down in line right there let's see what happens because I haven't started this in a while and I got stuff in the diesel will last a long time but I got some preservative in it so uh, down here we do uh, put that over to run right. and we got the key over here Good to go. We'll let it run a few minutes. Uh, you want to like put a load on it, even if it's just a light bulb, because a lot of times something happens in there. You got to get it going again. You can get it going with a variable speed drill. I'll tell you what the hell that is. Yeah, it's okay. Now change the oil in and all that crap. So it should be all right. And I shut the key off and uh, I'm going to show you a trick too. I actually showed this on another video, but who the hell knows if it's buried someplace or not. But if you let a generator sit a long, long time, um, you can, um, it can cause, it, it might not produce electricity. And there's a way to get it going that's not complicated at all. And uh, I'm gonna put the battery charger on this bad boy again just to make sure it's good to go. But that's that's not too slow to do this. I might I might put the I'll show you what I'm talking about. I might put the quick disconnector on here because this is not that quick. <laughs> Let's show you what I mean. You've probably seen on my other video, but if you're not seeing my other videos, I'll show you what I mean. You could do instead of doing that. This is stainless steel bolt stainless steel um, fender washer stainless steel nylock lot nut so and then it's a stainless steel uh, wing nut not too bad but not that quick either yeah I know people familiar with my channel they know about this this is uh, you can get this it, it, and you'd have to adapt it to that other battery that's probably that's really why I don't have it on there but you can uh, get something like this with a throw switch that's faster I might put that on there later sometime, but that ain't too bad because I don't really use that too much. Only once in a while when I need it. But that'll be quicker to just go like that. <laughs> and I can make sure I shut the fuel off too. Now see you get your generator started and it's not producing electricity because it was sitting so damn long. It needs to be re-energized. I do have this on another video on my other channel, but I figure I'm gonna throw it in here because you know it's kind of like survival tips. Um just take, you know, this is this is a, just a variable speed drill, one of the best things you can use. Just plug this in while it's running. Obviously, it's not going to be. Uh, it's already working, obviously, right now, so no problem. But and I'm not going to run it while I'm talking because you ain't going to hear me. Then plug it in while it's running. Say this thing's not working. Say you're pressing it while it's plugged in. Oh, it's no low electricity is being produced. What you do is while this is running, this thing needs to be re-energized. Plug this in then turn this by hand and somehow that 
does something, it back feeds something into the enter into the generator, and all of a sudden you'll start it'll it'll start working. You do this with a variable speed drill. Just start spinning it. So then all of a sudden this thing's gonna be producing electricity. It works almost every damn time. I've I've already I've done this and tested it on my other generator. Fucking work like a charm, man. And so I'm gonna throw that in there because generators are things you don't use too much, and I forgot about this one. I've never had a problem starting up because it's diesel. The other one is gas. That's a pain in the ass sometimes when it sits because the gas, you know, the gas is with the ethanol. Even if you put that, I think the PRIG additive instead of stable that that makes it start a lot better. But um, it's more difficult to get ethanol free gas and it's a dollar more a gallon it's a lot of places depends on where you are and that's what you really want to keep in your gas portable generator not to anything with ethanol and you want to put PRIG now it's better to have a diesel now this cheap ass ET whatever the hell this damn thing is ETQ or something I forget what this damn thing's called man some Chinese made um they were hit and miss I turned out Mine was very good. <laughs> Some people's shit blew up and stuff. This one turned out to be pretty good. This one I've had no problem with. I've had it for years and I've used it a bunch of times when the electric went off with lightning and different things like that. But diesel is definitely the better way to go because you could store a lot more diesel safely and probably if you really had to you could probably run some kind of vegetable oil, peanut oil in the damn thing and you don't worry about the fuel going stagnant and I do have additives in this fuel so it should last a lot longer and um, this also has I think it's this shit here just the compression release I'm gonna hang it up man I use the electric starter man this thing is like forget about starting this damn diesel up even with the compression release and with the hand thing that thing Psh forget it man I tried it it sucked I couldn't get it going I used the battery so make sure them batteries are good and uh, that quick dis that disconnect on it keep that battery disconnected because you leave it disconnected what happens is somehow it drains when it's connected it just it takes a long time for it to drain but it will drain then you go new to go to use it several months later and even with this compression release bullshit, I gotta get this rubber thing back on here again. <laughs> this uh, compression release bullshit, you will be hanging up. You're not gonna get that damn thing started good. It's a pain in the ass. So, just make sure your battery's not connected and it's charged up. And once you charge it up and it's not connected, it'll stay charged. And run this bitch every once in a while, cause or else you'll wind up having to re-energize your generator. And I know that trick works almost all the time, but I don't think it works every freaking time. So you want to make sure you run this shit every once in a while, and put a light on it, anything, leaf blower, something, power drill, and put a load on there so it's make make sure it's keeps the you know the thing energized and still working. You don't do this shit when you go to need it. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Everything's work, right? That's the way it is.